booktube this is my weekly wrap up i got my ticket for the long way round two bottle whiskey fall away as you can see i'm not at home i'm visiting at the beach hey love the beach i read six books this past week one of those i read the week before last and i didn't do a wrap up because it was the only book i got finished that week well, it's part of a series, and I wanted to talk about the series, uh, the first two books in the series, which are both out, before I did the wrap-up. So, the first book is called Midnight City, the second book is called The Severed Tower, and these are both books in the Conquered Earth series by J. Barton Mitchell. I listened to them on audio, they're both narrated by Kirby Hayborn, and before I tell you about the books, let me say this. I have kind of a hot-cold relationship with Kirby Hayborn. I love him for some things. I don't like him so much for other things. But he was perfect for this series. Perfect. The voices that he gave all the characters, I was absolutely riveted. Riveted by this series. It checks all my boxes. And so it's post-apocalyptic. There are aliens. There are zombies. The, which all the parents have turned into, the young people are in the process of turning into zombies, um, they're on the run from the aliens, they've divided up into gangs, and where the aliens landed, initially their objects in a town and the surrounding area have all been changed on an atomic level. So there are quantum changes that happen to these objects, making them artifacts. There's a bounty hunter guy who doesn't want to let anybody in because you don't let people in when they hurt you and life hurts you. And yeah. And then you have a girl who is an artifact collector. So she goes like, she's kind of like Indiana Jones and goes and gets these things and then has an intrinsic um, appreciation for the way that they all go together. She knows, she gets it. She understands the science of the way things work. And then you have a little girl who has been kidnapped by the aliens and she doesn't remember anything beyond when the bounty hunter finds her and then you have this great dog so it's a little bit chaos walking a little bit partials a little bit war of the worlds a little bit lord of the flies and it's just got all these great elements to it and the action is so great it just never quits it does slow down you can take a breath because i've read books where the action is so constant that you just feel like you never get a chance to kind of breathe this was wonderful. I, I just, oh my gosh. I just loved it. I loved it. And Jay Barton Mitchell is actually a screenwriter. And no wonder. This would make an incredible movie. The special effects in it would be fabulous. So I absolutely loved it. I can't wait for the third book to come out. I think it's due out in December. Five stars to both books. I followed that up with some new adult contemporary, and the first of those was Beautiful Oblivion. That's by Jamie McGuire, and it is the first in the Maddox Brothers series. That is a companion series to the Beautiful Duology, which is Beautiful Disaster and Walking Disaster. And it follows the brothers of the main character in the Beautiful Duology. This was narrated on audio by Phoebe Stroll, who did a spectacular job. I loved her narration. But unfortunately, I did not love this book. Now, it's Jamie McGuire, and I am a huge, huge fan of Jamie McGuire's. And I loved that beautiful duology, but this just didn't strike me as nearly as good. I don't know why that was, because I may have had something to do with the characters. The main character is, like I say, the brother of the main character in the beautiful duology. But all of the brothers in that family are supposed to be, you know, kind of swaggering, cocky, can charm a girl, and... I felt like, yeah, I don't know that he was really able to do that. I, there was a very angsty relationship that he had with the other main character. And it's Trenton and Cammy. Trenton also works in a tattoo parlor, and Cammy, the girl he's in love with, is bartender who then comes to work at the tattoo parlor. Well, that whole idea is a little too close to the Marked Men series that Jay Crownover wrote. I really like that series, and this just got a little too close to that. Uh, it's full of all the standard things that you would expect in a new adult contemporary. Uh, much more about their coming of age and growing up and learning to deal with life and 
their families and other people around them and what they want out of life. There is a plot twist that you figure out about halfway through. It's not that hard to figure it out. So, you know, it's a good enough book, but it's not what I've come to expect from Jamie McGuire. So I will continue with the series. I think it's a good series. I have a lot of hope for the next book. But this one, yeah, three stars. Yeah, it was just okay. Next up, I read Unteachable by Leah Rader. I got this as an ebook from Amazon for Kindle. And I loved this book. This is the, the old story of the student who falls in love with the teacher. The main character is very cynical, and she has a very difficult life. She's had a very bad, very bad home life. And they hook up one night and then figure out that there's a little more to it than just hooking up. And then um, they develop this relationship. And there's a lot of maybe stretching your imagination to believe that this possibly could have happened in it and there is a little bit happening in the plot that that's really kind of unnecessary but the thing that grabbed me with this book was the writing I got to the second paragraph in this book and I thought this woman can write so beautifully I'm gonna love this book and I did I did love the book now this book has a lot of sex in it a whole lot of sex but the thing that got me about it was that I wasn't reading about that as nearly as much as I was reading about the feelings that were associated with what was physically happening. But you don't always get inside the characters' heads, and that's what this book did. The imagery, the prose, the way this woman can write is just... And it's not just the way she writes, but it also is about the things that she says, which I found to be... Several of them were just profound. I love this book. I know there are probably people who are going to disagree with me and say, well, it wasn't all that good, but I found it to be amazing. So five stars. Next up, I read Landline by Rainbow Rowell. This was narrated on audio by Rebecca Lohman, and I love her. I love her. She narrates so beautifully. She's done a lot of other Rainbow Rowell's books. And so, yeah, it felt right at home. I love the voices that she gave the characters. And of course, it's Rainbow Rowell, so you can imagine. The writing was amazing. The character development was just everything we've come to expect from this author. This is an adult book about a 37-year-old mother of two, happily married, but she also has a career. And she writes, she's a screenwriter with her best friend. And so it is essentially the story of her being confronted with having to choose between her career and her family. And her, her working through what, how to do that. Which one is she going to choose? Does she have to choose? All the things associated with choosing. And there's a little bit of magical realism thrown in there. But I did not love this story. I don't want someone who's been married for 14 years. I mean, no, that's my life. I don't want to read about my life. To see her work through and face that, you know, choice that she had to make and prioritize, I just thought, no, I, that's, I don't want to read about that. I want, to, I want the fairy tale. I want Cinderella who has no idea what 14 years of marriage is like or life experience is like. I want that. Uh, so this wasn't for me. Like I say, it was well written. It was well narrated. Uh, the plot was good the little bit of magical realism thrown in was great but it just wasn't for me so four stars and lastly i read sinner by maggie stiefvater this is book 3.5 in the wolves of mercy falls series that series is complete it was a trilogy uh shiver linger and forever and so this is kind of an add-on and it follows two of the characters from the first three books um cole is a rock star and isabel is a a girl with a chip on her shoulder. This book was narrated on audio by Dan Bittner and Emma Galvin. Emma Galvin was the voice of Triss in um, the Divergent series, and she's also narrated a whole host of other things. Well, she, she was the voice of Abby Abernathy in the Beautiful Disaster series. I love her. I don't think she was perfect for this particular character though. I Actually I'm listening to another book right now narrated by Lauren Fortgang and I think she would have been a better choice. Isabel is very acerbic and she's very angry and Emma Galvin can kind of pull that off but I, I've listened to so many narrators that I think there was probably a better one. Dan Bittner. 
I don't care who he is. I will listen to him anytime because he's just so good. This story was really difficult for me. It was a really difficult book to listen to or to read. It was about two very self-destructive, damaged people trying to not kill each other emotionally. Uh, it's about addiction and learning to deal with addiction. It's about an emotional paralysis that happens when you are too afraid to let people in and the damage that happens when a marriage splits up and a child dies and another child is left to deal with all of it. She was an angry, angry girl and he was a charming guy who made a lot of bad decisions and put his life into a situation where he was never going to had any chance to do well or escape all of the things associated with his old life. Oh, it's just so hard to read. You know, it was so emotionally taxing. Just about the time you'd think, okay, can it ease up? No. Something else, some other disaster would happen. So, oh man, I was tired when I finished listening to that. If you want a whole, if you want a story that's full of a whole lot of emotional trauma, then this is your book. But it wasn't for me. So, I love that series, and for that reason I gave it three stars, but I, I'm calling it two and a half and rounding it up because it was just hard. It was taxing. It was not entertaining. Oh well. So that was my week last week. If you've read any of these books, I would love to know what you thought of them, and especially because I didn't think very highly of a couple of them. So let me know if you have read them and what you thought. And I guess that's it for now for me. I'm back to the beach tonight. Got to look at that beautiful full moon that's coming up over the Atlantic. So I will see you next time. And thank you so much for watching. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. You're going to miss me by my walk. You're going to miss me by my talk. Oh, you're going to miss me when I'm gone.